Today we're taking a look at the DC Direct Green Lantern Series 1 Black Hand action figure. Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV where all geek culture collides. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today on the show we're taking a look at the DC Direct Green Lantern toy line Series 1 Black Hand action figure. No, this is not the Blackest Night toy line from DC, DC Direct. This is the Green Lantern toy line from DC Direct. As you can see, Black Hand does come with a display base. It is all black, but it's the Green Lantern symbol. I'm not sure why DC Direct did it that way rather than giving him the Black Lantern symbol. Maybe it's because it's part of the Green Lantern toy line. Um, they didn't want to mix up the uh, different ones. Uh, and it is a black transparent plastic. Uh, black hand. He has a rubber cape. Very nice looking. Uh, he has kind of a bluish, a navy blue style costume. Uh, but it's kind of a navy blue style with black accents. But overall, it's a very nice sculpt. You can see he's kind of, uh, he's undead. He's got, he looks like a corpse. Uh, and as you can see, he's got the black hand, uh, which was severed, I believe, during the Green Lantern Reborn storyline, uh, perhaps. Or no, I believe. I think it might have been possibly Rage of the Red Lanterns. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I do know it was in a scene where uh, both Hal Jordan or where Oliver Queen was facing off against Black Hand and Oliver had to use a ring in which Hal Jordan left for him to fight off Black Hand. And severed his hand and then when he became a black lantern his hand grew back and was black like this so anyway not a bad sculpt on this guy uh, the thing about black hand is that he made his costume out of a body bag um, he his family he comes from a family of morticians uh, he was kind of the oddball because though he was obsessed with death, I don't think he really wanted to be a mortician. Uh, he had no he had no emotions at all, which is what made him perfect to become the harbinger of the Black Lantern Corps. Very nice sculpt on the eyes. Got that undead stare in him. Uh, the metallic looking Black Lantern symbol, which was actually originally just Black Hand's symbol before the Black Lantern Corps even existed. Which I don't think you can really call it a core either because it's just people who died get brought back to life as Black Lanterns. So, um, anyway, that's the back there. Got the spikes on his hand. Let's go over articulation, guys. His head is on a ball joint. You can go up that far, down that far. You can spin all the way around like the exorcist. Uh, his arms are on a ball joint. You can go up that far, down, all the way around. There is no bicep swivel, a single elbow joint, and wrist swivel. And it's the same way on both arms. I'm going to try not to touch that side anymore. It really needs clean because some kind of glue or something on there from being in storage or something. I don't know. I'll have to clean it. 
uh, but legs can go out that far can go back that far no thigh swivel single knee joint no calf or ankle swivel no toe tilt what you see is what you get and he does stand fairly well on his display base uh, the peg is a little tight in there but there you have it guys the DC Direct Green Lantern Series 1 Black Hand Action Figure. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon with Comageddon TV. Take care.